it's our first morning in Oklahoma. Everybody's getting rounded up here, getting ready to jump in the Hummer and head down the road. About five o'clock and it's uh, 25, 28 degrees, something like that. We roosted a bunch of different turkeys last night. So I think we got a good idea of where to be at this morning. That's why we're up early after them. So we're gonna get in there and hopefully beat the crowd to this spot. This may take them a little bit to get warmed up here. Yeah, it's pretty cold. It's taking us a little bit to get warmed up. Yeah. <laughs> There's one. There was one. <laughs> It'll take them a little bit, but not that long. That sounded like it was a ways over there. Granted, I have a beanie on. That one's not that far, Greg. Yeah. That's the one that I said that I figured was back in this block. Ready? To hunt. Yeah. You gotta get across this field here quick. This field? Yeah. Do you hear one over there? He's right there. Oh. Right in the corner. That's awfully busy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Quick interview. We got two birds gobbling. It's just after six. There's one that's kind of on the edge of public and private. I think it's the same bird that we were on yesterday. And then there's another one in here on public. There's two creeks that meet down in here and that's where it sounds like the goblin's coming from. There's a wheat field on the other side of that creek. We're gonna try to cross it and get up over in the corner of that field before it gets too light out. Probably got about 15 minutes to get over there so we better start hoofing it. right in the corner, they're gonna pitch straight out in this field. You're not gonna be able to get that thing out there very far, you're just gonna have to crawl it out there. Greg and Zach are set up right here. And those birds are gobbling on down this field. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start calling right here at this spot, and then I'm gonna work back down this direction, drop off that hill, try to pull them into this field corner. in here much. see that decoy come into the edge of the field. looking back that coyote did that coyote kept looking back like, I don't know if he was I, I don't know he just looked kept looking back and that that one last gobble I told Greg I said they're in the field right and he thought said and thought so too but I never have seen no red 18 red 18 river That's the must out. have in the woods. Yes. If you run out of civilization, this works. I think I'd use Zach's camo drape before I used the leaves though. Those birds gobbled pretty good on the limb. But about the time they flew down, they pretty well shut up. And we saw a coyote run across the middle of that field. I don't know if he ran up in the middle of the flock or what happened, but plenty of dogs barking up at that house too. 
Those turkeys were blowing up on the limb, though. I'm assuming they flew down with hens and they're down there in those woods, but it's real, real cold this morning. We heard a few other birds gobbling in and around here, so we're gonna go back out to the road, this spot that we started at. And we actually found quite a bit of scratchings and stuff up there yesterday. So we're just gonna go out there and wait for the next hour or so. As it warms up, I would expect these turkeys to probably get a little more active, I would think. I think it's just a fat hen. Would that have been him? Quite possibly. That was him. Sometimes you have a hole in your decoy. So you just plug it with a piece of gum. Works great. You know, we've actually got a blown up decoy and not one that's just totally deflated. Thanks for that. Did that seriously just work? <laughs> it works a little bit. I mean, it's still puffed up. and circle back around to that, to our original spot. It is warming up. Yeah, I did sneak down there in that creek and sit, but that are trying to find one goblin. I would assume you're mid-morning that it's gonna <coughs> explode, explode into a goblin frenzy. starting to warm up a little bit haven't heard much all morning just seen a couple hens out in the fields birds gobbled good on the limb and then shut up and now we're trying to slip back into the same area where they were roosted at the birds aren't being very vocal right now so we're just going in really slow and quiet just listening and kind of hunting our way in here these woods are pretty open out here in front of us so we're going really slow. They ain't using the fields though. I don't know if it's because it's too cold for them or what is going on. Derek and Josh and those guys have been driving around in Kansas all morning just up the road and they haven't seen anything either. Cold weather may have them slightly shut down or at least push back into the timber. But at some point with the sun coming out and it warming up, you would think they'd have to start getting vocal. Talk about the calling you did, how often, what kind. Just going through here every 50 to 100 yards and hitting a call, trying to sound like a hen that's kind of lost, that's looking for a flock or looking for a gobbler. Kind of start off with low volume yelps and then pick up the volume from there. We're calling about every 15 to 20 minutes just as we move through here. Always try to call right before we hit a rise or something like that. Got a little ridge up here. It's probably 50 yards or so in front of me right now. And before we crest that, we'll probably call again just in case there's something just over the lip. You just gotta remember when the wind picks up like this, when you're hunting rolling terrain, the sound of your call may not travel very far in the woods depending on where the turkeys are at. If they're down low in these creek bottoms, you may need to be within 100 yards or so of them for them to hear it, especially if the wind picks up. That's why we're calling so often. It's natural too because a hen is moving through the woods. What's unnatural is for a hen to stand in the same spot and call a whole bunch for, you know, hours and hours. You can get away with calling more as long as you're on the move. They're right here. I can't believe 
that they didn't fly out in the field. I guess it wasn't a long beard, it's just two hens. It's probably one o'clock. Yeah, it's about one and oh, one thirty, yeah. The wind's starting to pick up, but the temperature has warmed up to sixty-two. And we're just cruising around using our binos and trying to glass turkeys and so far it's working. No long beards yet, just hens so far. That's public land right over there and they're right down in between the road and the river in that nice little flat green bottom but that's what we're doing right now we've got a few more spots that we want to check for whatever the reason is these turkeys do not want to be out in the fields today so these green little river bottoms like this seem like the best bet hen hen I mean, I think those turkeys last night were gobbling up in there. Up there? Yeah, I mean, there's a creek that goes through there. Could be good down in there. I mean, I'm guessing it's good down in there. World champion, Armadillo Stalker. He's still in pursuit. He's going for it. He's going in for the kill. He touched it. Of course I see it, I'm staring at it. I thought he got me once. He like, found it a little bit. And then, he still doesn't even know what happened. He's still just sitting right there. They don't pick their head up, they just put their head down back. <laughs> Those leaves. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. I might even be able to do it again. Do you want to give it a try? No. <laughs> I'm good. Let's go find a turkey. Not every animal you can walk up on and poke with your gun barrel. Great. Yeah, that's yeah, a Tom. That's a Tom. It is, isn't it? Yep. Do we hunt him? We don't have much time to hunt him, do we? 20 minutes to hunt him. If he gobbles, we got something to work with here. Sun's still up. Still shooting light. We got about. Not Actually, about time. 25 minutes. 25? 25. Well, that's enough time. I mean, he ain't got nothing there, but I bet you he flies up across the river because that's what these screwball birds will do. You can? I can yep. see turkeys I can see in the all tree. of them in the tree. Is that the hens? Or is There's that the at least tongue? four. This is crazy. See him yet? No. Yeah, I see him. Something left.
how many of them there is, but there's a pile of them. Spotted these turkeys from the road. Watched the tom pretty much fly up with a bunch of hens, and we just drove by him and filmed him off the road. There's been hunters in here on and already today. It's the same spot where we filmed two hens earlier down in a creek bottom. There's a whole pile of turkeys in here. Who knows which direction they'll all go in the morning. But... Are you ready? I'm out. Okay. Ready? There's a lot of them right there. In a good, real good spot for the morning. The only thing is, it's right on the road. There's a real good chance somebody's gonna hear these birds. But, we're gonna be in there super early and right up underneath of them. Well, we're back at camp, and we heard a bunch of turkeys tonight. Roosted some right off the road, good shape for the morning. We're gonna try to get some turkey killed for you guys here in the next few days, but this is definitely a little bit different than what we uh, were in last week in Alabama, Mississippi. Yeah, I think, I, I think the big thing is just birds that are, for one, visible. I mean, it's just the habitat was different, and then two, they're gobbling in the evening like a lot. Compared yeah, to I mean, roosting is huge with these turkeys. Mm -hmm. You know, these turkeys and Miriams especially, for whatever reason, they gobble a bunch in the evening. Mm -hmm. And we didn't hear anything all day. No. Nope. And then tonight, we, we were driving around and saw that gobbler going in. And right where he went in is where he flew up. And uh, he probably gobbled 10, 12 times on the oh, limb. Yeah. So yep. pretty good shape for the morning hoping that uh, we can slide in there. We're gonna get right up underneath of them. The tough part in this situation is just gonna be that going in blind, trying to find a place where we can both get hidden. Yeah. And like that's, I mean, that's something and they're, that- They're roosting on like the side of a bluff almost. Uh, he could pitch down in the edge of the field and we'll be in great shape, or he could pitch down just over the ridge and come by us at probably 15 yards, but maybe just out of sight, I don't know. We'll just. We're going or he to, could fly across the river and none of it mattered at all. Yeah, I mean, these are public land turkeys. They're screwball a lot of mm -hmm. time. So we'll see what we can do with them in the morning. But that's going to conclude the second day in Oklahoma. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching. We appreciate everybody tuning in. And all the support that we've got has just been unbelievable. So thanks a lot. we got to cook, eat, go to bed, get up and chase turkeys tomorrow. So we will see you on the next video.